Magic Kingdom whose personalities are the royalty of entertainment. On this program, another glittering lineup of stars and the glamour in which they live. You're about to have an intimate look at these and other well-known celebrities in their glamorous world called Hollywood. European moviegoers have been waiting for this for a long time. Bardot and Moreau together in a film. Now it's happened. These two top French stars are as different as day and night, but both are undisputed queens of the French cinema. This is Mexico City, the Paris of the Western Hemisphere. Headquarters for the filming of the picture Viva Maria, starring Bridget Bardot and Jean Moreau. What you're going to see now is an exclusive look at these two great stars filmed by our Hollywood producer, Rick Spalla, in Mexico. Studio headquarters is the famed Mexican Churubusco Studios, and many a film epic, Mexican and American, has been shot here. But never has a film been so anticipated. The production company is a French-Italian combination. The crew, primarily French. The cast, Bardot, Moreau, and George Hamilton, the only American. The supporting cast and extras, mainly Mexican. The director, Louis Mal, one of France's top craftsmen. In addition, he collaborated in the writing of this picture. Louis Mal, a very creative man, one you'll see be seeing much of. These two stand-ins are taking direction while Bardot, here she is, looks through the camera lens to get a better idea of what's expected of her. What many people, at least here in the United States, don't know is that she is a very shrewd businesswoman. She has a string of coffee houses in Paris, plus a number of other things going for her. And on the set, she's Queen Bee, make no mistake. But she's never worked with Jean Moreau before. But right now, to give you an idea of what you're seeing, the set here represents the drawing room of a despotic landowner, Senor Rodriguez. This is a mythical Central American country around the turn of the century. Two girls are caught up in a revolution, leaping happily from crisis to crisis. They pause along the way to invent the strip tease and eventually lead the long-suffering natives to triumph. It's a fun picture, at least they hope so. For Mal, it's a chance for him to do something different and something he's wanted to do for a long time. It's a departure, too, for Jean Moreau. Not so much, though, for Bardot. She's known for com her comedies. But Mal was quoted as saying that she's a vastly underrated actress. Getting back to the picture and Senor Rodriguez's drawing room, nearest you on camera, Bridget Bardot. On your left, Jean Moreau. Rodriguez becomes upset with the girls, but he's the loser. Bridget winds up behind a machine gun and making a shambles of this room, particularly that one big mirror. It was shot up nine times before they got the picture they wanted. There's Bardot and the machine gun that does the damage. 